Right, we're here at Bloodstock Festival 2011. I'm hanging out with Obsessive Compulsive. How are we doing? Fantastic, thank you. Yeah, pretty. It's a bit hungover. Yeah, I'm a little bit bladder from last night, but no. So when did you get here? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Been drinking hard? I've got a bit of real ale. <laughs> I just noticed the real ale bar yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's where you've been hanging. Yeah. So that's where we'll find you later. Yes. That's cool. Now you guys are playing tomorrow. Um, you know, from a band's point of view, how does it feel to play? You know, such a huge profile festival along with so many other bands. Amazing. Yeah, we're really honoured to be here. It's wicked. Yeah, we did, we've actually played Bloodstock before, but it was about yeah, three yeah. years ago. Um, and this weekend we're doing an acoustic set, which is a little bit different for us. Yeah. So I know it's a, a bit few bands are doing it. Yeah, yeah, I was just speaking to someone else about that, and it was like we've never done one. Yeah. Tried it. It sounded good. But they're going to see later how it goes. Right? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. our second acoustic set. The first one we did at Download this year and, and now here, so. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure he'll be alright, man. He'll be alright, we'll blag it. Nice. Now, for the guys that, that haven't checked you out yet, you know, how would you describe your music? It's always a hard question because you categorise yourself, but it has to be done. It's got, all, it's got a lot in it, it's quite varied. It's, a lot of people say it's sort of right in the, down the middle between metal and punk. It's got a lot of anger and a lot of sort of rebellion and angst, and then it's, you know, it's got a lot of cool riffs as well. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much sums it up. Eh? Yeah, you should just go check it out and see what you think of it. You know, that's that's the easiest thing to do. Oh yeah, yeah. and then make up your own mind again. That's it. Yeah. Now in now, uh, I think May 2010 he released the album. You know, so it's been a while. How how, how do you feel it's been received um, from, from press and fan point of view? Really well. Um, we're really really pleased with how it's how it's gone down. I mean, we're really proud of it. So yeah. um, we just hoped that other people would would like hearing it what we put in because we put everything we had into it sort of. I think considering we did it ourselves as well put it out there ourselves you know yourselves, yeah. yeah yeah so I think it's done pretty good so yeah we did it on our own label. Music industry is so changed though isn't it like before you couldn't do this but now it's just if you know the right people and yeah, if you just it just wanna, proves that it works. Yeah if you're gonna work hard you can get your stuff out there and give it a go I mean you can only it, it's kind of hard because obviously like if you're on a bigger label you've got a lot more opportunity a lot more exposure but you know, just well, place, if you do it yourself and you do get somewhere, it's got to feel a bit better, though, isn't it? Oh, like, uh, yeah, really proud of rather than being pushed. So yeah. Yeah, well, everything we've achieved so far, we've achieved entirely on our own. We've not had a. Yeah, good. Anyone I mean, the fact that you're playing here proves it. that it's working, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. We love so Bloodstock. It's like a snowball effect, really. We have to just gig and gig and gig and push it as hard as we can, and then we end up selling stuff. So it's just pushing it as far as we can go. Yeah. yeah. So do you, I always ask this band, do you guys find it hard touring, you know, with your everyday lives? And We absolutely love touring. If we could play shows every single day, we would do. Yeah, it is hard. We've got to work as well, obviously, because you don't make money out of being in a band, not even when you're doing really well these days, you know, it's not it's not a lucrative career anymore. But, it's definitely uh, dedication to music. Yeah, yeah, we love what we do and we, you know, we want to do it as much as we can, so we, we put up with having to work a shit job and, you know, work more when we're not touring to pay our rent while we're away and everything, but I would never ever complain about it, we absolutely love it. We've chosen this lifestyle, you know, why would you complain? It's awesome. <laughs> that's, it. that's it, passion, you've got to keep going, isn't yeah, it, man? Yeah. So aside from, I know you're playing tomorrow, but uh, aside from this, what's next you know the guardian touring and stuff and um, we're doing a little tour in october yeah. well we're playing london tonight actually but obviously that that is that will be in the past tonight. by the time people yeah. see oh, it wow, yeah yeah, yeah. We're gonna head down to tonight it's present at the minute <laughs> yeah 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 it's uh, we set the tents up so we've got something to fall back into when we get here yeah yeah we, we, we thought we'd set ourselves up ready <laughs> um and then uh yeah we're touring in october we've got um dates in Manchester, London, uh, Glasgow, um, Portsmouth and we'll have a few more confirmed over the next few days. So, We've got yeah. a couple of, uh, couple of music videos we've been working on so hopefully they can, they'll be out there soon. And yeah we've got a video for our song Man Vs Machine which is the third video we've made and that will hopefully be on screens um, in a few, in a month or so. If, if, if the powers that be like it. <laughs> nah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. But what about regarding future new material? Because it's been a while. We're writing at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've not we've not sort of set any sort of time period to record the next record, but we started working on it. So hopefully, yeah. as soon as we can, you know, we'll get it. We'll get a new thing out maybe next year sometime. Um, but you know, again, it's a money thing when you're doing it on your own as well. Like, so we're sort of figuring out ways that we might be able to fund it because it's we haven't got any money at all. So <laughs> you have to play a lot of shows and get small payments and build it up I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know a lot of bands have tried that anyway. Yeah. It yeah. Works. <laughs> yeah. Sell a few more of the album we've just done so yeah. that'll help to pay for the well, next you know, one. Wish you good luck with the show tonight Cheers, and tomorrow dude. and we'll check you out. Nice you know. one. Pleasure to talk to you guys. Thanks for the exposure. Yeah, Wicked. Nice one. Great to meet you man. Nice one.